What's cracking, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Game 101 with Mr. Burger. We are on episode 6 of Factorio 101 with Mr. Burger. So, I was taking a look at the uh, newer version of the smelting. Let's see if I can find this here. It's in the Welcome to Factorio book, and the basic smelting, this one right here. And I, I kind of like this one a little bit better. And what it does is it runs coal um, kind of on the left to right belt there, and then just splits whatever else whatever other ore is coming in um, from the above area. And it, it just works out really well. So what I'm going to do here really quickly is, rather than, you know, completely taking this apart, um, we, we have a few options. We could just place that one like I was doing right over here and continue it through there. But I kind of want to keep it uniform. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our little deconstruction planner, first of all, to deconstruct all this. Um, quick shortcut to deconstruction planner is alt D and what this does is it uh, destroys any blueprints it marks anything else for deconstruction by putting a little X over it like so we're gonna deconstruct some of this down to about there and you'll see it puts a little X over each of those things that you want to destroy and it'll make them you know kind of not be in use anymore uh, you'll see that the coal and the uh, what was it the copper were no longer running there um, once we deconstructed them and of course if you are doing well, actually, we can keep that one right there. So if you want to not deconstruct it, you shift and click when you have it dragged over that, if you want to cancel that deconstruction. If you have robots, of course, they will uh, take care of that. If you have things marked for deconstruction, they'll run in there and deconstruct it. You can use that on, like, cliffs and trees and stuff as well. So what I want to do here is line up these guys right here. Uh, the problem is I'm going to have these boxes. I don't know if I have enough space for all of this right now, but let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough space for it. Okay, well, we're just going to adjust things a little bit. Let's put the radar kind of up here for now, just to get it out of the way. Um, we can put the blueprint down next, like this. Want to line up the furnaces. There we go. See, we can get the nice blue color there. Uh, we're going to shift-click it, and we're going to run this down first. <clears throat> and then we're going to put those um, chests down. And I may need to make a few more. Let's do that. Got a few more up there as well, but just for the time being. And then we need... I don't have fast inserters yet, so we're just going to do regular inserters for now. Um, put those guys in. And then... Let's run power down. There we go. I don't need that many. I don't think I meant to put that many down. Uh, this is what I want to do right there. Okay, cool. Um, get one up there. Okay, so those are all powered, and they'll be put into there, and I can dump all the copper into there for now, and that will give me room to pick all of this up here because I want to fill out this blueprint best that I can. So we're going to pick everything up, and then we're going to... Um, put the blueprint down again, line it up perfectly, just like that. Uh, radar's in the way, whoops. <laughs> bad spot for the radar, <laughs> my bad. Alright, that's fine, uh, that's easily adjustable, we will put it right up there. Okay, let's try that one more time. Basic smelting, line it up right there. Um, what is it now? The balloon light is in the way. Okay, that's not a big deal. Um, where is that guy? Oh, it's in the way of... Uh, this is in the way of like a, oops, that's not what I want, of a inserter. Is that what it is? Oh, no, it's just a regular light. So we'll just shift click it and that'll fill in uh, the areas that we don't have. So we won't worry about it too much. If it's a little bit imperfect, it's not a big deal. Okay, let's um, get these power poles over. They are missing furnaces because they are in the wrong spot. But we can easily adjust that. Let's put those down. I am going to need a bunch of furnaces if I want to fill this all the way up. So let's run these guys down here. And I'm also going to need a lot of inserters. So let's start making inserters. And honestly, I should probably automate some of this stuff pretty soon. Um, let's do furnaces first. I can automate basic, um, what is it, uh, belts and furnaces and stuff pretty early on. Just get that out of the way, just so that I have them in hand and I don't have to sit there handcrafting them all the time. Um, but since this is, you know, peaceful mode, I'm kind of going long-term, building up big, 
and I'm not uh, too worried about getting everything down perfectly uh, early on. All right, next we got what is there? Uh, dead gray trunk. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that guy, and we can do more inserters. And of course, I am out of inserters. So since that is the case, uh, we'll just run some belts here for now. And let's see the coal I want down there. And it should be split so that it's on the inside. Okay, cool. That's in the right spot then. So let's do something funky with the coal here. We're going to, for this one, we're just going to adjust it a little bit. Because basically we're just trying to bring the coal down to this line right here. And since this is the very first one, we will uh, not worry about that underground belt that was right there. The reason for that is that so that we can put... Oh, I keep doing that one in accident. Sorry, guys. Uh, we can put multiple basic smelting blueprints down like that. And then basically you can just run this line of coal um, across over and over again. So like that. If we're going to do it again, it would be like this. All right, I'm going to need a few more splitters. A few more underground belts, a few more regular belts, and probably some more inserters. So let's do that. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the second row of copper for now. Uh, we'll worry about that in the future. For the time being, let's just get all of this set down. And that is why I need more inserters. So let's just borrow this guy right now because we're not going to use him. And we'll just put a ghost down for now so we remember later to put that in. Let's put that one right there. Uh, all right. Oh, boy, I'm out of belts, huh? See, this is why I really... At this point, I really should be automating stuff because I'm making this really massive, expansive thing. Um, so, let's see. They require iron plates and iron gear wheels. And I could use circuits too. Um, we'll just keep handcrafting. We'll get like the copper and we'll get the uh, iron down. And then we should be good. All right, uh, we got a few underground belts. Do we have more inserters now? Yeah, we do. So we can finish up this last bit here. And some power poles too. I got plenty of those guys. Click and hold to make sure that we all get them in the right spot. Or rather get them all in the right spot. Um, let's do these here so that we can get everything rolling. Pick up some copper if we need to. Make sure to split it right in the center there where those splitters are. If you don't have it go one going right and one going left in that perfect spot, it's gonna mess things up. So that's a easy spot to mess it up. So do be careful of that right there if you're using this basic smelting blueprint or something similar. All right, um, this thing is just about done. And I don't need a whole lot of copper right now. Um, I got some in hand. I more so need iron for more belts and stuff. Uh, stone's not a big deal right now, and we are going to need some stone ore on our bus eventually too. Um, but for now, I want to adjust this uh, one over here. Okay, we got as much as we can. We got some more inserters. We're gonna need lots of transport belts, and I don't have a lot, so let's make a bunch of those. And then um, furnaces, we will also need a few furnaces. Speaking of stone, uh, furnaces require, like I said, stone bricks rather than stone, or excuse me, stone ore rather than stone bricks. So we'll just run on the belt, we'll hold F, and we'll pick up some stone ore. And that will allow us to make some more furnaces. We'll get a little bit more just in case, might as well, while we're over here. Just run on up here, holding F, and that'll be good for now. Okay, cool. All right, um, in the meantime, we can run on down here. And we're just going to kind of do the same thing that we did over there. And I know that this seems a little bit redundant and time-consuming, but that's, that's part of this game, is I... I looked at one blueprint that I use for other maps, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, I like it, but this new one is even better. And I like it even better now that I've seen it in action. I've seen other people use it in their videos. I've used it in my um, uh, other maps, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and dump all our iron into here for now. Just get this out of the way. 
and uh, yeah, so I'm happy with it. I want to make use of it, so we'll take the time to adjust it right here. All right, let's do this. We're probably gonna actually just swap it over, like just like we did there anyway, because um, we're gonna have the the what is it the coal running down there. But anyway, before we do any of that. Let's put this guy down, line up the furnaces so that we know it's in the right spot. Um, oh yeah, the electric poles that I put down here, those were in the way. So let's do this, there we go. All right, now we can put it down and we'll put everything else down when we get around to it. Um, okay, that's the same spot for the coal, so that's not bad. So same thing here, we can have it come underground and later we can adjust that if we have more iron going to the left, but we'll probably have the iron going off to the right so we have a lot of room for the copper and everything else. Yeah, that should be good, and then we can run our bus like down here somewhere. All right, cool. Um, let's go ahead and just start filling all this in, and then we will be in business. All right, splitter's done. So uh, why is my coal not? Going. Oh, sorry, splitter was not done. My mistake. That would explain it. All right, and then we can um, put the output of that right there. Okay, cool. So that's all going. Um, I do want to move these boxes and stuff, which is going to be hard because they've got all the iron plates, so I should actually dump all the iron into this one and then move the ones that have less. And let's run all this down. We'll make a few more boxes. And then we'll go back to doing furnaces after that. Okay. All right, then we can do, since we don't have fast inserters yet, we will do regular inserters, just like we did over there. I'll have to give those guys some power. So let's do this here, 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 and we're gonna fill in the others. There we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, um, why don't you have power? Where, did I misplace one? Oh, what, hold up, because that's not supposed to be in the blueprint. Okay, that would make sense. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and just move all the iron <clears throat> slowly but surely down there. Pick up these inserters so they don't keep inserting. And we'll get what we can from here. And then move all that in there. And we're just gonna slowly but surely, again, another kind of time consuming thing, but uh, you know, I just want to make this change now for the sake of the long run of our base. So we will take the time to adjust right here. Oh man, that one was really full, huh? Okay. We are almost done here. Get that last one. Okay, good. And... Okay, we'll keep a little bit of iron in there. Not a big deal. Alright, um, do I have a bunch of furnaces now? I guess I don't have furnaces on my taskbar anywhere, so I'll put them there just so I can have a count of them. All right, I'll run those guys up and run these ones down. And then I'm going to, yeah, there we go. Run that down. And then we should pretty much be in business. And as long as everything runs smooth, we should be able to run like one or two lines of coal directly across all the way from the copper over here to the stone in the middle over to the uh, iron over there. And we'll probably just expand the uh, copper off to the left and the iron to the right. Um, the stone, I will probably make that adjustment eventually, uh, but I don't want to take the time to do that right away. So well, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here. So there's a lot of different things that we could do. Um, I'm going to set up the bus next, I think. I'm going to start setting it up. And I think before I do that, I want to set up a like temporary, um, how do I say this? Like just a nice little temporary automation shop for, like I said, belts and uh, inserters. And we could potentially do 
have this little blueprint. This thing gets me, yeah, inserters and belts and the basic red science. So we could put this down here temporarily and fill it in. And then we would have access to um, belts and we could pull some of the belts off and some of the basic science. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that quite yet, actually. So let's instead do our own little version of it. We're going to make some more belts. Oh, we got plenty of belts. Okay, cool. We're going to just kind of bring this over here. And we're definitely going to need some copper, too. So we're eventually going to have to run the copper down there for our bus anyway. So it doesn't hurt to run a, a line of it down now. And we can adjust how far away we want it and everything. But, um, you know, think big. Always think to use more space rather than less. So I'm going to bring it all the way down here. And run it all the way across this way. And pretty soon we will meet up with the um, iron there. And then the iron can be brought in a little bit closer. Um, Got to get rid of some of these trees sometimes if they're in their way. Let's see, I think got one more in the way there. Uh, let's just kind of clear out the way here just to be safe. All right, got one there. Cool. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, so again, uh, just going to be like a temporary little setup. We'll run these two here. We'll make a little bit of space. We're going to need a few assembling machines, which means we will need more iron. Okay. Let's start with like four. And the two things we're trying to make are transport belts and um, inserters, because those are the things that we're going to be using for now. For the most part, um, splitters and underground belts, we're not going to be using them quite as much, so I can just kind of handcraft those. And in fact, let's do that right now. I'll make like 30 splitters and a bunch of underground belts, so we have them in our inventory. Okay, uh, let's put the um, assembling machines onto our taskbar somewhere. Um, we can just put it down there for now. Well, no, we'll put it. Uh, we'll put it up here somewhere. That'll be good. Okay, cool. Um, it's looking good. Let's put next some assembly machines right here. Uh, first thing we need is iron gear wheels. So those are in intermediate products. Iron gear wheels only require iron plates. And we'll just get an inserter. We'll have it insert. Um, what is it? The iron plates, and then they'll put it. It will put it into the assembly machine. That will give us iron gear wheels. And then we're getting iron gear wheels so that we can make uh, transport belts. So rather than having another belt come out, oh geez, speaking of which, I ran out of transport belts. Okay, let's cancel the splitters, cancel the splitters, cancel the splitters and everything. Because I need some belts. <laughs> all right, come on. I wish this was a little bit quicker. Okay, not a big deal. Cancel all that. Let's make... Okay, cool. I got some belts now. Now we can make some more splitters. Okay, cool. Um, all right, next thing we want to do is... Oh, you know what? The problem is when I'm making those things, it's... Yeah, it's uh, using the belts that I have. So let's just place the belts down first, and then we'll worry about making the splitters and stuff in a little bit. All right. So a couple ways you could do this. Um, you could belt... You could have uh, another inserter coming down here and have a belt there and connect it and that would dump the iron gear wheels out onto the belt like that but I don't want to do it that way right now we will do something like that pretty soon maybe in the next episode but for now this is what I want to do I want to have it pulling directly off from the assembly machine and pouring into another assembly machine so we'll put another one there except this one is going to be making transport belts and then we will pull more iron plates, because if you recall, transport belts, you can see here, require iron gear wheels and iron plates. Let's get a little bit of power to everything. And then this will now be making, you got iron gear wheels, and it will be making um, 
transport belts with those iron gear wheels and with the iron plates. It'll be dumping directly into there. And then um, we will just basically take the the uh, what is it the belts there, and we'll just put them into a chest for now. We could put them just like some science or something, but for the time being, we'll just uh, put a chest down. All right, let's do that, and that'll give them a place to be poured out into. And then we can just come here and control click that anytime we want to get some belts. Next thing that we want is inserters. It's pretty similar. It uses similar things except it's electronic circuits rather than um, only the iron gear wheels and the iron plates. We will need the iron gear wheels. We will need the iron plates. There's a lot. There's so many different ways we could do this. So something that just comes to mind right now is I'm going to put a splitter right here. I'm going to run the iron plates. Let's uh, put the yeah that right there. I'm going to run the iron plates down here. And it needs iron gear wheels, so we'll pull directly from here. Um, what else does it need? Iron plates, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits. So let's put it right here. And then it can pull. There's the iron plates right there, right? It's pulling from the belt and putting directly into the assembler. And we're making an inserter. And this one's pulling out of the um, assembling machine right there and is putting it into this assembly machine over here. And that might not be enough for the two to be perfect, but it'll be good enough to just get us a nice little start. Uh, and then the last last thing this need is electronic circuits, and those are intermediate products. They're also made from iron plates and copper cables. We're going to need a lot of electronic circuits in the future, but we'll just do a really like kind of minimal build right now. You can see the copper isn't making it through, so there's definitely something in the way. Um, we will clear out the trees to get a little bit of a better look here. And then, yep, yeah, there's the one. There's our culprit. And let's do this here. Okay, so that's got everything it's need, it needs except for the circuits. We're going to need this to come down here. And, oh, there's another spot. It's not going through. There we go. Okay, so circuits, like I said, needs copper cables and iron plates. Um, I believe it's like two assembling machines of copper. Oh, I need one more assembling machine. Two more or three more actually. Two assembling machines of copper cables to go to one assembling machine of circuits, if I recall correctly. Let's do it like this. I normally just use these nice blueprints that people have laid out for me, but I kind of wanted to try to come up with my own a little bit here. All right. Um circuits nice spaghetti monster here okay cool so this one is going to be making the circuits and they require iron plates which we got right there and um, copper wire which these guys will be making copper wire only requires copper plates and then we have these pour into there, and then we have this guy pour into there, and then we have this pour into a little chest there. And then all we gotta do is power everything. All right. And now we have transport belts and inserters automated. We can come up here. We got 100 some transport belts in here already. Click on that guy right there to get it. Um, we got like f almost five inserters now already. And get that right there. And if you guys recall, the, um, oh, I'm thinking of the next one, the green science actually is the one that requires exactly this right here, transfer belts and uh, inserters. But right now we only need the red science, which is just copper plates and iron gear wheels. So honestly, in the meantime, let's just slap down a couple science labs. And we will, oh, these guys, oh, I never finished powering that and putting inserters in, okay. That's okay. We didn't really need it. As you can see, we now have the inserters automated, so it'll be even easier to finish this up here. All right. Such is the life of Factorio. You start to start to do one thing and then <laughs> end up doing another thing. And that's kind of going to be how this series is. I'm going to be like, oh yeah, well, let's start our bus. And then we're like sitting here working on basic smelting the whole time or something. All right, anyway, now we got inserters automated, so there's 12 more. Here's some more transport belts. We will probably need a few more handcrafted. 
So I'll do that. All right. I think that's everything actually. Yeah, that is. Okay, cool. Okay. So the next thing we could uh, put down those labs, like I was saying, and we'll just put a nice little chain somewhere where there's a line of power. How about right up there? And this is just going to be another very small temporary build. We're going to be removing all of this eventually, most likely. Um, it's just going to be for the time being. And what I'm, you're going to make sure to do is leave uh, one space in between each lab so that we can put a an inserter there. And um, I don't know if I went over this already, but basically you can have a chain of labs like this and put, put inserters in between each and it'll pull from one lab down the line to the next and slowly but surely fill them all up if you have everything run in there. So let's make a few science packs and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, uh, don't need that last bit of inserters. Let's get those science packs. We're still waiting to research those electronics and then we can get fast inserters pretty soon. Um, but for now, we'll just make do with regular inserters. Okay, so there's our first science pack. We'll put it in and see it's only one now, so it's automatically getting sent to the end. And that guy at the end got it there. You see, I put it into this one at the very right here and the guy at the very left there got it first. So let's wait until we have a few more and you'll see each one will slowly but surely go down. So when I have um, four here, there we go. Uh, let's wait for like one or two more so I can uh, really get it filled up. So I'm gonna have, I got five now, we have five labs. Let's wait till we have six. All right, so I dump it in and you can see it starts with five. It's going down here because they're getting pulled out and getting sent down the line. And then we have one in each. And honestly, the only reason it didn't reach the end there is because I think that they're researching so quickly. Oh no, these ones at the end, yeah, that's right. It pulls out, um, or automatically it pulls in you know, I think like up to four or five at once. So it'll just get them at the end there. Looks like it was actually balanced out at about two each. So maybe it stops after two of each science. But anyway, you can see that it's a very effective little lineup. There's a lot of different ways we can do that. And I will show you another science uh, array pretty soon in the future episode, probably. But that's how I wanted to do that one there. And then in the meantime, you come down here, pick this up, pick this up. And then I'm thinking... Let's take a quick scope out here. Um, well, also let's put down a radar so we can get some more vision. And let's get one of those. I think I have some balloon lights now, right? Well, if not, then let's make a few because it is dark at night in this game. Um, even with the Afraid of the Dark mod, it is quite dark. Uh, but let's go ahead and put down those balloon lights and that'll make a big difference. All right, where are you guys? There we go. So one right here in the middle, bam! So definitely a lot darker. I think that in my other game, I got like the night vision goggles or whatever. It's another thing from the Afraid of the Dark mod and uh, it made a big difference. All right, we can see there's definitely a whole lot more light now in between those two. We can put one more here, might as well. Get it all nice and lit up. And then, um, yeah, now that we got that done, we're gonna take a look at our map. Like I was saying, um, let's go ahead and we're going to use this area all as smelting. We can, you know, fill this in as copper and expand to the left for more copper if we need it. But by that time, we'll probably have electric furnaces and stuff. Um, and then this one here, we can make this iron. We can go to the left a little bit and expand to the right further if we need it. We'll probably start our bus. Um, I want to avoid those little patches of biters for now. And honestly, we want to. I like starting it on the right side and then expanding out to the left. So that's probably what we are going to do. Um, we're going to start on the right here, kind of like right there, and then go, or uh, maybe down here, kind of further down, because I want to leave a little bit of room in between the smelting in case we need to run anything in between. I mean, we will need to run stuff in between, and we're going to have a lot of different belts eventually of you know copper and stone and all kinds of stuff coming up through the front here and we need to weave them through each other in some points. Um, I generally just kind of slowly but surely expand as I need to. I won't necessarily like plan it all out perfectly and be like, okay, let's leave, you know, six lanes for iron to come in and whatever. Um, until we get to the belt, I do plan that out. Or the belt, sorry, the uh, bus, I do plan that out. 
but running stuff into the bus, I'm not too worried about it. Um, but we'll just leave a good chunk of room there. And then we can start the bus uh, a little further down. And um, I think that I will get into the bus and exactly where I'm going to start it in the next episode. I'm just kind of, you know, coming up, coming up with ideas right now. So when we jump on into the next episode, I will look at the map again, most likely. And uh, we'll make like a final decision there on, you know, what I want to do for the... Uh, the location of the bus, but I think that's going to be pretty good. All right, guys, I think that is it for today or tonight's video. Just a quick recap. We have our old starter base over here. Looks like we expanded to the left here, and then we're going to expand down south. Um, we switched out this type of smelting array here for a big old one like this. I really like this one a lot. Looks like I need to adjust a few things there. I need to put in a few more belts, but I'll do that when I run over there eventually. Uh, we did the same thing over here for iron. Uh, I showed you guys, you know, how you can decide, okay, I like this design better, and you can just scrap it. It's not a big deal. You scrap the thing that you used, you use those parts to adjust it, and you just, you know, slowly but surely fix it into how you like it. Um, a little bit of basic science there, pouring into one science thing, and then having it go down the line. And, of course, eventually we'll be running belts, you know, like that, and we'll just have the... Uh, the inserters pulling off and pouring the science directly into the first lab and so on and so forth um, and then we made this nice little uh, kind of starter transport belt and inserter producer and again I could leave that and just have like the belt the uh, line of iron and copper go around it and expand from there um, but you know we'll we'll see when we jump on to the next episode so next episode, if we do get around to it, I would like to start the bus real soon. I think we are about ready for that. All right, guys, I think that is it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, you can leave it a thumbs down. That's fine. It helps me out either way. Uh, and make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And if you have any questions, if I wasn't clear on any of this, um, if you want me to clarify or give it a little bit more info, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Seriously, I'll get back to you. I'll let you know. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good night.